Greetings, dapplings, and welcome back to a new episode of Humankind and to the city of Pokey Dragon, our newest city on the new world. That's right, we have finally properly made landfall. Uh, we've been exploring a little bit for the past few turns, but now we have begun the colonization efforts. And so far, we are completely alone. There aren't any uh, the any um, neutral empires, any any native civilizations, and so we're enjoying uh, a period of peaceful expansion. We will see how long this lasts. Hopefully it can last for a very long time, but uh, you never can tell. Now, in the last episode, we also unlocked access to a new strategic resource, one that I would very much like us to start developing straight away. There we go. I'm actually going to push that one all the way up and get that one done as fast as we possibly can. Manu, what are you currently working on? Uh, you're working on further infrastructure. Schools, very, very good use of your time there. We are also getting a new holy site up and running. Now, our vassal does have access to Saltpeter. Sadly, I don't believe that we can develop that. It is possible for you to be effectively a sponsor of, of resources in other lands. I've had that happen... I believe in the stream game that I completed not long ago. By the way, I played that one on, on the slow pace, and I fancy I prefer the slow pace, uh, though there is something to be said uh, about the, the way it changes the game, because we were basically finished. I, I think we were still uh, in BCE when the game was finished do you, in the contemporary era it was it was the timing was a little bit weird uh nevertheless it does seem to be possible to help sponsor the development of a resource however i don't see a way to actually trigger this now it might come down to your ally having the technology for it because i did have the technology available to me when one of my neighbors sponsored the creation of the extractor site for that resource because they wanted to to trade it they wanted to purchase a license to it so they they um they took over some of the the cost to get the the resource uh connected up to my network so that they could they could buy it off me but i already had the technology i just wasn't prioritizing building it so it might be that my ally doesn't have the technology, and that would actually make sense. I wonder if it would be something that I would do in here through a, a treaty of some sort, or, or just clicking on the resource. We'll have to experiment with that a little bit. But the last thing that we're going to do, the expansion into the new world is going to be greatly improved if I add a couple of extra units to this. So <clears throat> we are going to go ahead and finish the horse ranch there. There we go, and uh, access to the horses were already purchased. I am very happy with that. Also, do excuse me for a moment. Had a little bit of a frog in my throat there. There we go. So we'll get out there and hopefully start speeding up the acquisition of new lands over here. Now, one of the big things that's gonna hold us back is going to be our influence gain, which at 233 per turn is probably one of the weakest parts of our empire right now. There we go. Right. Eel Star's doing okay. As is the frog that's living in my throat. Doesn't want to be evicted. Very well. I, I hope you make yourself comfortable. Uh, Pokey Dragon also just gained population. Very good, because we're about to use up two of them. And we've unlocked the Builder Star. Not the one that we're focusing on, but uh, certainly not going to turn my nose up at having it anyway. It's not going to be long before we get an Agrarian Star. Which others are we relatively close to? Uh, we are quite far away from the Merchant Star. Probably one war for the Military Star. And Expansion Star's not, not far away from at all. And of course, the Science Stars. We're actually reasonably far away from the Science Stars. And part of that is because we're going for more important uh, scientific discoveries right now. Oh, speaking of... Nice. I approve. I approve a lot, actually. Right, well, with that done, let's head back around and place down an outpost somewhere in here. Uh, I could place an outpost there, but I would much rather an outpost in this er area. So let's move up the river in order to get that going. We also have Urgent Affairs. 
Thieves of the Seas. Transoceanic trade is flourishing, but such richly veined routes are attracting vultures of the high seas. Pirates are rumoured to be planning audacious raids on ships near the wealthy city of Manu. Unless the Empire responds, wealth that should go to the city is likely to go into the pockets of scoundrels. What is the right move? We can secure Manu. Uh, drafting Manu's workers to build shoreline watchtowers will discourage the pirates and reassure the citizens. Plus 20 industry for 10 turns. On Manu, plus 20 industry, even with the percentage increases, isn't actually that much. Because Manu is, is dealing with thousands of industry. Or we could recruit. These pirates could become privateers for the Empire for a fee. Uh, how, do we, how do we care about this one? Um... I'm actually okay with moving our economic axis towards individualism. For 200 gold, we can easily afford it. Sure, let's let's get a new army. Oh, it's three units. Oh, now that is actually quite nice. We've got the Carracks. Okay, well, uh, first and foremost, I don't for a second trust you. So I'm going to move you out on your own. There you go. And we're going to start exploring. I am done with letting the AI pick its roots. It cannot be trusted. We have seen this. Let's get you down there. And this one... Now, we're going to be a little bit uh, limited in moving over here, but you'll notice that the character doesn't have a navigator penalty. That is to say, it can freely move on ocean tiles. I think two ships to map this coastline should be enough. Uh, well, actually... You're going. You're climbing your way what? up the ladder of renown. Growing the glory of your empire. I'm glad to see that my efforts have not been lost on you. Uh, sure, let's let's have this one move down along Burpman's coast. We'll see how things go. Right, which other units are on the move? Okay, once again, you can't be trusted, so I'm going to start moving you manually. Let's try and dispel the... Uh, the fog of war from around these areas. Uh, sure, let's get you all the way up here. It's going to take you a while to get there, but it should be okay. This will take you... Uh, this will get you busy for a bit. Now, Poke Dragon, how much do we need? Uh, we can probably afford that next turn. Indeed we can. Clonk. There we are. Resource sold. Access to the Sage was purchased. By the Maya for 27. I approve. Okay. Well, Poke Dragon, you carry on with our initial um, set of developments there. That'll be fantastic. And as for you, let's get up here and decide where we're going to found this. We still need to get a little bit more of a move on in here. To properly see what we're, what we're looking at. I want to uncover this just in case it's something I really, really want to know about. And that might genuinely affect my uh, placement we'll, we'll get down there as for you though time for us to start moving in this direction we've got one strategic resource that I don't even know what it is yet which is impressive given how much research we already have but hooking up these materials is going to be fantastically useful for us uh, as for you let's just get you up here and then we're going to move along the the pole I think I think we're base. Oh, I was going to say, I think we've basically uncovered all of that. That's going to annoy me. Okay, sound out in, in the comments. Uh, are you like me in this regard? In that you will waste a turn in order to uncover a tiny one tile of fog of war that you know has an astronomically low chance of actually being worth anything? Like, it, there's not going to be anything there. There isn't. Even if they were an island, I can't do anything with it. But it will il really irritate me if I leave that there. <laughs> Just knowing that I've left it there will be scratching at the back of my brain for the rest of the game. I hope I'm not the only one. I'm, I'm fully ready to accept that I am, I am, and that uh, it's just, just weird. But I really do hope I'm not alone in this. Uh, right, let's uh, get over the ocean. We will take a little bit of damage, but it should be okay. Especially if we claim this territory soon, because I will be able to hold tight and uh, develop... Uh, sorry, uh, to heal in my territory waters. 
Darth Raptor building up a common quarter. Good. Stability should be fine. We will also finish the new holy site very soon. Manu is finishing one of the emblematic districts. Also very, very happy with that. Okay, new turn. Right, Darth Raptor's gained a population. Osmosis event, probably Darth Raptor. Once again, you continue to be a thorn in my side. New grievance available. Hmm. What concerns you today? Okay. Well, I'm going to hold on to that. You see, the state religion is is different from my religion, but now our religious power has actually overtaken several of these areas. And as a consequence of that, they are now suppressing the faithful, and we have an additional reason to go to war. That's really, really powerful. If we can let this, this spread all the way through, I'm not sure that their religion is going to be able to recover from that. How many holy sites does Shen have? One there, two here in uh, this one city's borders. Wow, that is one mega city, isn't it? And then one over there. If we could we could grab a couple of these holy sites in a war, then we will permanently curtail their ability to, to gain followers. It'll probably keep them from ever hitting tier 4. And if we are the only tier 4 religion, I mean, that's certainly going to be useful for us. Now, Eelstar, your development is going well. Uh, I'm not liking your low production of food, though. That is a little bit of a problem. Uh, one that I would like to change. Uh, we could, of course, have... Oh, well, actually, that would be fantastic. We could have two of these emblematic buildings right next to each other. That would actually be quite, quite lovely. Especially as I do intend to place more science districts around. Th does this act as a science quarter? It does. So they will, they will benefit from one another. That's very nice. That extra, that extra influence would be very, very welcomed to me. Uh, we'll hold that one for now. I could put this one here, and maybe I should. Um, sure, let's make that happen. There we go. Eelstar's going to be busy for a little while. All right, let's find out what's happening down here. Can you... Oh, it's a little, little hill. Okay. Well, now we have full sight on this area. We can now properly consider where to develop it. Uh, we've got mountains around here that I would be able to de uh, develop... Lots of industry in this area. Not much in the way of food, though. Over here would probably be the better one. We'll still hit the mountains. Um, here might be a little bit better. Simply for, for future expansion, because I'd be able to expand out to gain resources. Uh, sort of the uh, access to industry over there and food in this direction. I think... Although it is uh, initially much lower industry, I feel that that might work out to my benefit in the long term. Yes, let's get that going. There we go. Next up, we need to continue our exploration of the seas. Uh, I'd need to declare war in order to get in there, which is obviously not something I want to do. So let's uh, be on our way there. As for you, let's start making our way in that direction. And uh, let's just find out what lies in this. Uh, is there another coast I can get to? Um, there is. I'm actually going to hold tight, though, for a second. Uh, as for you, let's go and grab that while we can see it. Uh, we're going to pass a turn there, just so I don't take any excessive damage that, that is completely unnecessary. Right, let's explore up in this direction, see if we can't find if this is just the, the head of this landmass, or if it continues to expand, because there is a lot of room that it can expand into, but I can already see patches of ocean over there. So I'm not too hopeful that this landmass goes much further. Centralized power. To better manage the evolution of complex empires, including w wily lords with grand ambitions, a centralized system to collect distribute taxes is necessary. Taxation office. 
Okay, plus five money on main plaza and plus three on luxury resource deposits. That one's going to be a huge one for us. Po quite possibly in the new world, there's a lot. Oh, hang on a second. I'm, I'm getting flashbacks here. Uh, maybe this isn't such a grand plan. Hmm. Uh, halberdies and draftees. Okay. As you change. Will we end the day, friends? Needy. They're in a bind and have come to you looking for help. Really? That's an interesting one. They are much weaker and we're stable. Hmm. I mean... That's a possible one, to be fair. Uh, Manu has finished its current work, which is great. Uh, let's see. Let's get... Taxation office on the go. We're producing a lot of money here. This would help much, much more. We've got a lot of luxury resources available in this in this one city. So that one upgrade there will be a massive help for us. Uh, we could add a bit of extra stability as well. Sure, we'll add that one in too. As for our ships. Let's keep to the very edge of Burtman's borders. These ships aren't going to take any damage from being out at sea, so I've no reason to worry about that. Uh, what on earth is going on there? Can you... Hmm. Curious. I guess because you're next to another ship? That might be the case. Either way, you can carry on your way. Uh, resource sold. Access to Sage was purchased. That's fine. I am more than help, uh, happy for you to do so. Curiosity collected. A carcass. You found a curiosity. A carcass. Uh, what? Uh, uh, hmm. I was going to say, is it like a whale carcass? But those, those will typically sink to a certain depth before the crushing pressure of the ocean starts to press up against it. What have we got here? We've got a number of pikemen. In ships with 27 strength. Hmm. I'm going to move down and we're going to have you hang tight here. And I can probably get up there in one turn. Let's make that happen, shall we? I think we should. Let's merge them to have a little bit of a scuffle. I know I was moving up to further explore. But perhaps I should start uh, getting some... Proper army stacks on the go. Uh, let's move over into this area. There's going to be plenty of opportunity over there for us to develop. Uh, I'm going to allow this to fully build up and then we're immediately going to absorb it, I think. Right, as for you, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious as we move around up here because I don't know where their borders are going to start and I don't want to accidentally go to war before we're ready. You go ahead and heal up for now. Given 30 research quarters, I'm not sure if this should be called the City of Science or the Den of Geeks. Den of Geeks, really? But Manu has gained a population, as has Poker Dragon. Very happy with that. And one of the agrarian stars has been earned. Now, of course, one of the one of the side effects of, of having um, of having many cities rather than just a few, is each one of them might be, be gathering population. But if you've managed to add all of the incredibly expensive uh, attaching um, districts, then you're probably going to be okay in in terms of, of expanding your population. Ah, we found the borders of a city. That is a, a neutral city. Okay, fair enough. Oh my. There is a lot of stuff up here. Explorers? Okay. Where are we going to want to set up in this area? Uh, we could... Along the river, for a lot of food. And a lot of industry at the same time. Or we could settle somewhere out here. No, I think, I think the river is going to be the better one. That being said, if we settle here, we'll have a little bit more area to play with. Sure. We're not going to have a lot of incoming food here, but that should be fine for Poker Dragon. 
We will have other options there. Right. Order our armies to complete their movements and then turn. I need to check in on how Shen is doing. Shen has slipped behind us again. Birdman is only just ahead of us. Right, Osmosis event. Once again. Uh, no, refuse. I am happy with my civics where they, they stand right now. I will consider changing that soon, but it is not something I want to do just yet. Now, I think the 11 food for 30 and 31 industry is better than the 8 food and 36 industry, so let's get that going. And Nunki, let's connect you. It'll cost a paltry 619. That's barely more than we make per turn. So that's absolutely fantastic for us. And let's go ahead and place down a bunch of new luxury resources. Absolutely glorious. Uh, we'll get the taxation office going as well as the great fish market. And on that note, that looks like a perfect place to... Well, that being said... You see, I'd get a lot less food here, but I could potentially get so much more money. Uh, that is a tricky one. It is a tricky one. I could do the same over here. But again, I'd get straight up 10 less food, whereas here I'd have the potential for four extra marketplaces there. But I was only just saying how we're going to struggle a little bit for food for this city. So maybe this would be a good option. Hmm. Let me just check what our focus is. We're, we're going for money here, so sure, we're, we're going to maximize for that then. A little bit less, less food, but overall. Now I'm hopeful that the districts will be able to interact over a cliff. Otherwise I will have to move that one, but... For now, it should be okay. Commodity market can go in, as well as a manuscript atelier. Let's have you merge and heal up fully. Uh, okay, looks like we can keep pushing forward. Grab another curiosity on our way. Another carcass. Be a bloody huge carcass full of uh, full of gases for it to be able to float. Let us formalize our mutual appreciation. Mm. I'm happy to consider what more we may do together. I could accept it for the time being and then downgrade it later. But first, let me have a look. Your company brings me great cheer, as always. You see, you're you're so much nicer now but I wonder I do wonder okay I'm going to accept it for the time being my people will profit from this proposal we accept news like this makes the sun shine a little brighter well considering we set our calendar by the uh, the moon shouldn't it be the moon shine a little brighter are you offending me, Cringer? Are you doing this on purpose? It's grounds for war, you know. My lord. Right, all those ships I don't need to worry about. These armies I absolutely do need to worry about. I think if we continue to wait... Uh, Shen is definitely getting a proper navy up and going. Maybe one or two more turns to move our ships out of the way. The, the, the reason why I'm saying one or two more turns is simply because I don't know if Shen will just straight up refuse my demand and thus will push me into a war. And that, as I've mentioned earlier, you need to be ready to go to war instantly. If you if you press this, you need to, you need to be ready to back it up. Okay, they have now completely solidified that as a city. Very well. Head over there, grab that. Very quickly, we are developing everything we need. Okay, let's move on around the border. And let's try and get you away from Shen's borders if we can. 
those ships will be able to catch you up fairly quickly, but if we can have one turn of movement before any potential war declaration, then we should be out of their reach. I don't even need to go to war, honestly. Our, our, our power is growing staggeringly fast. Right. The distant metropolis. Founding cities across your own continent is a challenging endeavor, but still much simpler than founding them on foreign shores. Seasons, climate, wildlife, staple foods, everything is alien. Not least a population drawn largely from local stock. Now that you find yourself in such a position, with the empire fragmented across different land masses, you must decide your outlook on such new cities. Okay. Vassal colonies, far-flung cities should understand they work for the homeland. Applies status subservient on captured cities. Subordinate to the wishes of their sovereign empire in the aftermath of the city's founding, the citizens strive in the economic and industrial spheres. This would move us away from gaining uh, percentage food on cities or outposts, towards more stability, and ultimately towards more combat strength. Or naturalized colonies. New cities and their citizens, wherever they may be, are the equals of the old ones. Apply status harmonious on captured cities. On account of the Empire's choice of civics, the citizens of this newly annexed city are feeling more content. That plus 25 stability on a captured city is huge. Plus, you know, 10% extra food. But wow, that is, that is a big upgrade. That will prevent recently captured cities in a war from more or less instantly wanting to rebel because they almost always do hmm may well be worth our our consideration that one not least because you know it's, it's a nice thing to do uh right let's go and grab this a little bit more very very nice indeed and continue on now we'll continue along the coast continue to explore in this direction all right, let's get you merging. Okay, I see you down there. All right, with that, we should be able to start hop, skipping, and jumping between the coastlines at this point. One idle army. Okay, we have found the extent of our ability to move. All right. Well, I'm going to peek in, get in as close as I can, just to reveal as much information as possible before we move away. Okay, it's not much of a concern for us. Alright. Now, as for you... Let's continue on. Oh, I can't move through that tile. Come on now. You know it would take me to war. This is this is why I warn against it. Uh, I, I know it's easy to say, well, they're not going to go through it, though, because that would obviously take you to war. But you don't know. You don't know. The, the movement AI in particular in this game is sometimes, well, how, how, do, we, how do we say it, very derpy, is, is the only kind way of putting it. There are many other not kind ways you could put it. Uh, right. Now, how do we want to further develop over here? Could have tourney fields. In infantry cost, um, extra range on garrison units and uh, on main plaza wouldn't be too bad. Alternatively, we could look to increase our overall production of influence. Or stability for that matter. And it'll only take me two turns to do. Wow, but if you kept doing parades you'd be at a point where your new units would have enormous amounts of EXP when they get made. That would actually be crazy, crazy useful. But how about we continue to drive up our already extremely impressive industry? I think so. That's only going to take us a couple of turns to get done. All right. I think it's now time for us to start Friend, laying it is good to see you. the groundwork. You see, if only only this didn't, or if only this matched up to the way you greet me, I might actually feel a lot worse about what I'm about to do. I feel right. A liar. Where is a liar? If I requested this 
I could take this city in a war. I know you won't give it to me. Let me just have a double check. Is this an administrative center? Yes. Uh, actually, you know what? You might give me the, the Alia. In fact, if I could grab both of these. And you. Which I might be able to do. Ooh. You might be willing to give that to me. Unlikely. But they are actually spoils that I would like to take off you. All right. Now, in terms of strength, it does say you're stronger, but I don't think you're tactically stronger than me. So... You're oppressing the faithful. I'm going to demand. Faith is a powerful thing, but only the right kind of faith. So I like stupid, that. so ridiculous, so inevitable. And I would also like Mirach. Agree to my reasonable demand, or I become unreasonable. An act of sheer stupidity. And finally, I would like your entire... Well, honestly, I, I don't... I don't really need to force this, but uh, we might as well, I guess. Follow the Oak Brethren. This stopped being intelligent a while ago. We should move on. A good idea from a good friend. Let me hear it. <laughs> Uh, they've sent your crisis to Fusel. Both empires withdraw their demands and normalize their diplomatic relations. No, I'm going to refuse. Once again, you show how inadequate you are. If it works for you. I mean, it does, really. Lots of trade just got blocked. So our cities are going to be in a bit of a panic right now. I'm going to refuse your demands. Stop making noise. The grown-ups are talking. Okay. They've ended the alliance. You should be wary of them. Okay. Uh, the demand they received. Trade routes blocked. 24 of them. They ended a treaty. They've downgraded the treaty to non-aggression pack. I acknowledge. All right. Our war score is now going to massively increase. Now, they broke the alliance, so we have gained a huge increase in our in our uh, war support there. That is actually incredibly high. Uh, I could stop, uh, move down to only trading luxuries. Because uh, I'm not actually buying any any strategic resources. I'm going to go You're ahead and break that. You're not interested in my demand. I am not interested in this treaty. <laughs> okay. This is beneath my notice. Right, they've gained plus 10 for me breaking a treaty. That was going to be a possibility, but uh, I think it's best to cut them off from access to my resources before things really get heated. Because they are about to, in a big way. Now, I don't see the units at the moment. I'm not sure what they've just done with them. But let's have a look at the damage that's caused. Not so much there. Actually, not, not a great deal. Hmm. Maybe on the next turn we'll see the damage. <gasps> there we are. Patronage research. As wealthy empires grow, merchants and nobles express their power by funding aristocrat uh, sorry, artistic endeavors and scientific research. Luxury manufacturing playhouse provide the funds can be channeled from wealthy neighbors plays offer the subtle means of political control via the powerful upper class plus four influence on the main plaza and the inventors workshop plus two percent science per saltpeter and plus ten percent science overall uh the dutch have just purchased my access to salt very well okay a lot of things just went down now, time for us to grab some of the cheaper researches. We really wanted patronage, and it has kind of stunted my growth in some ways. But uh, let's have a look for any ultra-cheap resources. Uh, none that I can easily see. Plus one stability per researcher is kind of awesome. 
Additionally, then getting furnace steel for extra industry would be nice, followed by the Caravel naval transport unit would be awesome. But that being said, let's get you in there first. Four turns. I know it's a little bit longer, but our emblematic sea unit will be super, super nice. All right. Let's have a look at how this is moving. We're still converting more of their lands. Like their, their religious power is, is basically going to be gone in a moment. Uh, as for cultural push, uh, it's not too bad in some ways, but uh, we definitely need a little bit more work on that. Based on a true story, your achievements are many, and your land's beautiful. Since times of iniquity... Uh, sorry, antiquity. Iniquity? Uh... <laughs> Maybe also true. But times of antiquity, your people have marveled at a place of great natural grandeur. Uh, draw some within your lands. But few have heard the true and thrilling story behind its discovery until now. Uh, that should that, that is clearly a, uh, a mistake there. I, I'm assuming they're talking about the natural wonder over here. Uh, a popular playwright has adapted the events of for the stage a saga of exploration and high adventure replete with dramatic embellishments and la uh, lavicious romance. The people are thrilled, and you hear it is not half bad. Perhaps you should grace the theatre with your own presence and see it for yourself. I could attend. That would push us a little bit further away from uh, the faith focus, and I'm not actually against that. I would like to be back towards uh, liberty, so as much as... Ah, oh, damn it. That might actually be really useful. But learning on three targets plus 20 science for 10 turns, chance of triggering another narrative event. We're going to go to attend. Drawing attention to works like these may inspire greater appetite for science and exploration. Also, you could use a break. Yeah, sure. Got to have that work-life balance, you know. Right, let's have a peek no up doubt here. this independent people possess sophisticated customs, rights, language, and beliefs. I do hope you're going to treat them well. Uh, I hope so, too. Uh, currently, <laughs> player three is already getting in there, the scallywag. Uh, we will pop down a bit of cash and we'll praise them as well. So plus four per turn. We should get up there very, very quickly as a consequence of this. Curiosity found. Excellent. That's actually a lot. That was a lot of, of influence there. I am reasonably impressed with that one. Uh, let's uh, shimmy on down here while I can. Okay, two curiosities for me to hit as well. As for you, my friends, let's see what we've got down here. This is quite a beautiful area. And another curiosity. Oh, well, actually, it was a curiosity as well. Uh, there we go. I'm getting a better view of this entire area. Uh, with that done, we'll move back up. It looks like we might actually be able to... Ex oh. What just happened? Um, I see. Against whom? Well, that's not great. We're going to retreat. I have no interest in fighting. I couldn't even see them. But let's get out of there. This unit should easily be able to outrun them. With absolute ease. Simply because they are a, a direct um, uh, infantry unit. We're cav. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, attaching for 700. Sure. Let's do that. One of the expansionist stars has been earned. Excellent. Not bad at all, in fact. Where are we? We're already four stars in this era. And we are now number one in the world. We might not even need to go to war with Shen, but it's probably in our best interest, if I'm perfectly honest, just to make sure that they can't recover their their uh, rather powerful position on the world stage. Alright, Darth Raptor. Let's have a look at you. Everything seems to be going okay here, but now we can start to actually develop a luxury uh, resources. Plus 50 fame on construction, plus 3 money per adjacent market quarter. So it's at this point that I would kind of like to start putting market quarters around these areas. Uh, yes, build that straight away. Furthermore, let's get this going. A little bit more influence as well. 
Patronage is a huge deal. And absolutely worth us putting a lot of investment into. Right, plus eight there. Uh, we'll pop one over here as well. Uh, I mean, that's science. I kind of want to go for science over there, but sure. Let's get that down. Uh, and we can't actually develop this area just yet, so what I'm going to do is try and get something nearby that will allow me to do that. I'll start building out in this direction. One there, one there should connect me up. Alternatively, I could go up along the top, and that might be worth it, because that's... Uh, well, actually, no, that, that would only bring me closer to the mountain, realistically. Uh, let's go for food, since I would prefer to expand my generation of... Uh, of uh, my, my growth of my pops. Let me up. Darth Raptor, you've got a big queue of uh, work to do there. You come to me with a proposition. Indeed. Let us see what is possible. War support below equilibrium. Mine is going up. Plus three from ongoing demands. We'll see how this goes. It'll take us a while to get to that wall. But in a way, I'm actually all right with that. Uh, as for Poke Dragon, uh, could we get down some extra influence in this area? Also, I need to actually hit some more sage. There we go. And then... Where do I want this? Uh, actually, I, I could easily put it down there, I suppose. Well, I, I think I might actually need to build that up first, but... Uh, either way, this one, I don't mind getting the markets around. And it's going to double up with this harbour, since I'm going to want to put markets there anyway. I could have done the same over here, but this one's going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to lose less... Less uh, less food here, because I'd have to overwrite a river. I'm going to do it anyway, but uh, I may as well start that work now. There we go. Uh, could, I, could I pay for this to be done a little bit faster? As I would really, really like these done quickly, wherever possible. We've got another five turns there. No, let, let's get all of those done now, as fast as we can for that whomping great big upgrade. Uh, pearls. Oh, we're already near to one market district there, so let's go for that. There you go. And we'll slide that one up to the top. And finally, let's go and check an eel star. Do you have anything that we can use patronage on? Yes, we do. Okay, um... doesn't really matter where we put this, I suppose. Uh, but I could... <laughs> uh, that's a lot of industry coming in there. But I think we will go here in hopes of being able to develop that a little bit further. Okay. Money-wise, I mean, we're slowing down a little bit, but it shouldn't be too terribly bad. One of the Builder Stars has been unlocked. Fantastic. And uh, one of our outposts has just gained a population. Let's go ahead and connect that. Nunki converted to a new religion. And we've already sold our sage to the Dutch. Let's attach that up. It's getting rather expensive now, but that's fine. There you go. And we'll get even more sage built up. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay. Not bad at all. 203 food a turn over here. Poker Dragon's already at 9 population. That, that is actually kind of bonkers. Let's slide these over. That being said, we're probably going to want to get some more um, units going. They are starting to establish over here. Well, I mean, I would rather have peaceful relations with these people, but if I have to, I will... Go to war in order to claim these lands. But let's get our knights together. This looks like an incredibly defensible area. If yeah, it looks like the unless this has got some sort of uh, ramp down, this is going to be absolutely fantastic for us to claim. Yes. Nothing is going to be able to get up there. 
Alright. Not too bad. One idle army. Let's grab everything. A little bit of uh, extra influence and science. Let's grab you as well. And again, another wreck. Marvellous. Now, I've been told in the comments that whilst naval auto-explore is derpy and the ships just kind of just swim in circles, or sail in circles, <laughs> they don't swim. They, they're swimming! Uh, that's, that's what a submarine is, Avak. Uh, but apparently the auto-explore for land units is utterly broken, but in the opposite direction, in that they seem to have a petronatural sense for where curiosities exist, and they will just burn straight towards them without caring for the fact that you have no real reason why you should know where they they are. That is an interesting one. That is definitely an interesting one. I'm thinking that we need to get more units over here and send them across to the New World, so let's go ahead and pop them together. We can now make uh, much stronger range units. Uh, range combat unit fights at full combat strength, even when defending against close combat attackers, but doesn't have indirect fire. Which is a shame. But I'm going to take two of these and maybe... Well, honestly, a melee unit no longer has any particular strength over someone with guns. Um, the only melee unit that really does is probably the Halberdiers, and that's because they've got anti-cavalry properties. But otherwise, the Gunners are the better option, and so I'm going to grab some more of them wherever possible. And on that note, ooh, okay, let's uh, let's immediately upgrade you, and you can become a Halberdier straight away. How about? Oh my lord, I no longer have money. I'm poor. When did that happen? Oh my days! This is a terrible time. Eelsar's population has increased. A new wonder can be claimed. Oh, fantastic. I've been saving up for that. Uh, resource sold. The sage was purchased by the Dutch. Let's have a look at you. No. It's not happening. But yes, let's, let's go and check out what we can grab. Okay, so uh, the Dutch... Uh, basically, Shen and Burma have already grabbed one, and yes, I did just say Shen, because I'm still having trouble pronouncing this word. Uh, the only one left uh, will give on city or outpost plus 100% production towards any shared project, national project, holy site, or cultural wonder, uh, and plus 5% industry in general. That I may as well take it. There is no reason not to. Yes, it's an awful lot of uh, of influence. But I don't have to worry about second or third place getting to the next year for a while, and we have rocketed past Birdman now. Basically, being... I'm not sure if anyone else can do this once we have. Maybe they can. But we are generating so much fame from having these. So, so much fame. Because it's not just one that, that you get. All of them are dedicated to manufacturing at this point, I believe. Although this is the only one that, that has... That's Pearl's Manufacturing. No, that's a, that is still an artisan quarter, but this is a branded resource now, which is uh, quite, quite awesome. Uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and see what else there is to do first before I make any big decisions. Uh, sure, you can come along. I'd actually like you to merge. Let's just keep this group... Well... Let's just tiptoe down there. Okay, yep, now we can see everything we needed, and we can still merge. And with that then, on the next turn, we can place down our newest outpost and continue to expand it. Looks like this is a relatively small island, though I am wondering if there's there's some sort of land bridge here, and it expands out in this direction. This The, the new world may actually be a lot bigger than, than I first appreciated. Right, I would like you to get over here as quickly as you can. It's going to take you a while, but that's fine. Let's get, let's get on the move as fast as we're able, really. I feel that that makes more sense. Uh, let's see. Wow, where was the other one? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Great Barrier Reef discovered. You discovered the Great Barrier Reef, a natural wonder. You gained 30 research. Excellent times. Ah, there we are. Hello, Great Barrier Reef. 
very much on on the bucket list. I would I I would very much like to visit the Great Barrier Reef at some point. Oh dear. Oh no, it's a peaceful tribe. We don't have to worry about them. That's very nice to see. Uh, how about a you? A step past your peers in relative levels of notoriety is nothing to sneeze at. Be proud and carry a tissue. Uh, what? Why carry a tissue? I don't understand what you're trying to imply. You're saying that Chen is smelly. I. That's the only way I can I can I can pass this information. I think that's very rude. My lord. Uh, we're gonna have to scooch around now. Uh, actually, no, we don't. We don't need to directly avoid going through their territory, um, as we don't have any kind of uh, diplomatic relation with them. Um, in the same way that we do with empires where we have to go to war, you don't really go to war uh, with them in the same way. But I am going to try and bribe them a little bit. Let's pop a little bit down. I would like to get to the point where they're at least not going to attack us, as they are a warlike, uh, a warlike group. Now, can be built once in the world, uh, once a cultural wonder or a holy site is placed, you can no longer move the construction from a chosen tile. This would exploit all types of resources, plus 50 science on cultural wonder. Um, where do you feel that this would be the best? Let's have a look around. Uh, what was the stability gain? Let's have a look around our cities. Which one has the worst stability? Actually, Manu has... Well, they're all trending towards 100, actually. So, you know, that this doesn't really uh, make much difference. So, for me, then, it's going to be more of a case of deciding where I want to have access to the resources being uh, being gathered in these locations. Um, I could put something over here, perhaps. Gain access to the resources in those, those mountains. Uh, we could also just go up here and just finish off this area. It's very little use around here. However, that being said, it would activate all these tiles. Hmm. But no, I, th I think we'll, we'll, we'll actually just gather the resources up there. Uh, that looks like a good place to, to pop down a... A science district actually so we're gonna pop this over here it's gonna take us five turns to get that done but that's gonna to have to wait until the next episode we have again run past <laughs> I am trying so hard to aim for 45 minutes oh, the one more turn is so strong with this game it is dangerous but that is gonna be it for us for today we have started making preparations for a war with Shen. What concerns you today? this war is no longer really in our benefit the reason for that is that realistically we are so far ahead now i don't think they're going to catch up we've started to snowball and that's very nice that being said one of the reasons for the snowballing is is patronage so we can't completely let our guard down because I don't know if they can do the same. Uh, no, they can definitely do the same, it seems. The, if they've only done it on the marble... Hmm. Is it possible that that is my mark? No, it, it doesn't make any sense that it would be, but we can see that they only exist on the... Resources that I have I have claimed. That is very interesting. We'll have to have a look into that in the next episode. But that's going to be it for me. I really do hope you've enjoyed. Final shot of the way the map looks right now. But until next time, and as always, thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next. But until then, do take care. <laughs>